Welcome back to my channel. In today's video is going to be a great tutorial. We're doing how to create a prayer journal for KDP Amazon and it's going to be a quick tutorial. So my name is Tahira and I am a Christian author, teacher, and self-publishing consultant and the founder of the Bless Author VIP community. And so I had did in a previous video three tips to help you and I think that um, this would be considered kind of like part two. So if you haven't seen that video and you want to know my process, definitely go to, I'll make sure to link it below this video and you can check that out. But for now, we are on Canva, which is what I recommend you use to create your prayer journal, the exterior and the interior. And so what you want to start off with is a foundation, right? They give you lots of templates, right? And so I'm showing you guys what they have if you're not familiar with Canva. And I have already picked out one that I kind of liked. But this is the thing. You're going to modify, right? You're not going to use this exact template. You want to modify it, use it as a foundation to begin. And before you can modify, you have to do your research. So I have up here incognito. Amazon. I always recommend that you do your research incognito. And what I did is I put in prayer journal for kids because guess what? I wanted to show you guys that one of my journals made it to the first page. There it is. The Shine Prayer Journal. That is my original design. And um, just wanted to let you guys know, it is possible to make it to the first page of Amazon. And it's so funny because this I actually have this journal for my kids. <laughs> And this was kind of like my inspiration for trying it um, because it's a bestseller and it's literally like a hundred pages. So anyhow, so once you do your research, you want to make sure that you're looking at, you know, what's out there, what is the competition, you know, go ahead and even click and look inside. You know, it's okay to kind of do some espionage. If you even want to buy a prayer journal, just to see how they, if it's a bestseller, how they um, format it. Now you're still going to do original design, but this is really good to find inspiration and make sure that there is a market for what you want to do. So I found an inspirational piece and I always recommend my clients do this. And I really like this, like the power of a praying girl. Now, this is not a prayer journal. It's actually more of like prayers, but I decided I wanted to do something like this for girl power. So this was my inspiration. So now that you do your research, we're going to go back to Canva, right? So I started with a foundation. Then what I did is I took that inspiration and I redesigned it. Voila, this is my cover. Now, I want to say that a lot of people miss this step. They don't know that you need the full cover design, the front and the back, design it together. And how you would get that, um, the sizes is KDP is awesome. They give you all of the templates that you need. So you're going to go to kdpamazon.com cover collector. And I like to recommend that you do this first before creating. You're going to just put in, whether you're doing a paperback or a hardcover, we'll come back in another video and do hardcover. But for now, we're doing paperback. Then you're going to do your interior, black and white. That will save you the most money. Then doing color. We're going to do white paper, left to right. We're going to do it in inches. And for now, we're going to do a six by nine, which is kind of the most popular uh, size on Amazon. And then we're just going to do 100 pages because it's a kid. This is going to be for a kid. OK, so then you'll get all of your dimensions. And what is the most important thing is this number one, the full cover size. And so what I did is I took the width and the height and I plugged it into Canva. Or what some people do is you can actually take this image and you can save it as, and then you can actually upload it. I'll show you how you can do that as well. But let's go back to, so I put in the size right here. You can resize it. I put in that 12 point something and that's how I got this. And then I started to design the front from a template and I just, you know, added some colors, like I said, because I had my inspiration piece and I have here that this is gonna be a girl power prayer journal, right? Just something really fun. Uh, for girls. So now that I have that, let's go to designing your interior. So they have templates, you guys, with lines. You do not have to create this from scratch. And I kept this up to show you. It's called Notebook Page A4. Now you still want to redesign it, 
You still want to redefine it. So what I did is, now this one, which is a blank page, I put, you got this. Now, if I was creating a whole bunch of these, maybe I would put, you know, inspirational messages. Maybe I would put, you know, Bible scriptures, you know, King James Version is public domain. You don't have to worry about using that. And maybe I will put even some, you know, declarations that they could say. But for now, you know, just to make this video quick, I just put that they can write their own scripture of the day. And I'm using the same elements. I recommend you be consistent. Like I use this element in the front of my cover and I used a kind of cross. So what I did is I took these same elements and I added it, right, to modify the interior. So I put pray and reflect. And then I'm going to show you guys a really quick tip. So I don't need that anymore. That was just to show you how you can modify it. And you can do as many creative pages. And I do recommend you be original. You have original design. But just for now, I'm going to show you guys a trick. So I like to put it on grid view. And let's just for now do, let's duplicate this page. We're going to duplicate it like four times. So now we have a total of five pages. Now what you're going to do is you're going to uh, highlight all of them. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you see this little icon? Now I can duplicate all five. And guess what? Till I get to 100. Voila. I have my 100 journal pages. Now, of course, you can get real fancy with this design, but this is kind of just an example. If you wanted to do maybe, you know, a scripture every third pages or something, you know, if you wanted to um, have where they practice gratitude or do some coloring, you can design this any way you want. And then I would recommend you just duplicate the pages. OK, and see how quick that was. Once you have that template and you've you, you know, you've done your research and you have, you know, a target reader in mind for mine is a girl, a teen, you know, maybe a little kick eight to 12 for this journal. Now you go into create it and duplicate. And then once you have now Canva lets you go up to 150 just to let you guys know. But for now, we're going to stop at 100. Then you want to save this. You're going to download it as a PDF print very important pdf print is what you need to upload to kdp amazon now you're going to hit the download now i'm not going to uh, actually upload this so i'm just showing you guys what you need to do but also make sure that this is also downloaded in a pdf once you have your interior and your exterior guess what now you're ready to self-publish on Amazon. And so I'm going to come back with another video, stay tuned, where I'm going to be doing the uploading process. I'm going to take this template and I'm also going to show you how to run through the whole self-publishing process. And so I hope you guys like this quick tutorial. Um, if you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and comment and let me know if you want more videos like this, okay? And definitely subscribe. And until next time, I want to say you are a blessed author, no matter if you're working on your first book or you have a brand of books that you want to come out with. And um, I will link some resources below to my blessed author VIP community, because this is something that I help uh, the women of faith in my community to do, even though I do recommend outsourcing. I'm going to be very honest. I outsource uh, my, I, I played around and tried to do it myself, but in the future, if you don't mind investing, definitely outsource your book cover to someone who is a designer who has an eye for that. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Until next time, live well, love well, and be well.